to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a content video, um, story time, whatever you may have. But the question is, am I really gay? So I want to start by saying, no, this did not just happen. This was years ago, actually. And it's so funny because um, a lot of you guys have been thinking like, oh, she had a baby. Oh, she had a baby father. What happened to him? What's going on? She's with a woman. Oh, Instagram, Snapchat. Whatever you may have, y'all been wondering. So here I am going to tell you guys that no, this did not just happen. Actually, this happened when I was in high school, definitely up to age to have sexual relations. It started my senior year of high school and I had a friend and um, we had a conversation. It was so funny because never did I ever think about exploring this side but I was not um, opposed to it either. So we was talking and it happened like that. Like she was my very first person and it was actually very interesting. Um, of course, like I was new to this, obviously she knew what she was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. So anyway, it was not that I was wanting to be in a relationship with women at that time. It was more just sexual. And of course, like down the line, I have got hit on plenty of times about women, but never have I ever thought about being in a relationship. Um, fast forward, now I'm in college and um, I met the very first girl that I was actually interested in and dating, but it was off of a bet crazy because you know how you and your friends do crazy things, but so happened, it turned out to be that somebody that I was interested in. So we did talk. Um, she's a very good girl. She's nice, very, very nice girl. She went to school with me, um, but it was nothing more, nothing less. Um, we continued to talk throughout school, but of course, nobody didn't know that. And of course, at that point, like... I was single at the time or like a little breakup happened between Grace and I's dad or something. And that's when I would like, um, talk to her. So anyway, fast forward that, um, yeah, she did for crazy, crazy, crazy. Cause she, she low key broke my heart and I didn't even expect that. So, um, I then met someone else and we interned together, nothing more, nothing less. We interned, oh yeah guys, I got my nails done today. I really love this color, but yeah, that's a sidebar. So yeah, um, I met this other person, she was, she was really cool, and we didn't date or have sexual relations, and at this time, I was big and pregnant, but I been knew her, but she wanted to talk to me at that time, and I was like, no, 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 I can't, I'm pregnant, and da, 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 da. So it was just so fun, so crazy and so funny because at that point I was just like, am I really gay? <laughs> am I really doing this? So, and of course I had um, friends throughout the years of college. Um, so then I got my very, very first girlfriend um, at the Grace was born and we really never even said that we were like together but you might as well say it it is what it was so we were spending a lot of time together um we was going on dates we was doing like everything like a you know a heterosexual relationship and the title never got discussed that we would be together but it kind of just happened that way um, I then had to part ways with her. I started dating. Well, I kind of stopped dating for a while after that. And then it was just so easy for people to, I don't know, I guess I was the gay target. I don't fucking know. But people then wanted to talk to me, um, women and not younger women, older women who have shit going on, which was cool. I was definitely not opposed to it. I did try to date and talk to guys again, but no guy had my attention for a very long time. I don't fucking know, but... Yes, that happened. So, question is, am I really gay? Um, I fall in love with the heart. This word is called pansexual for people who don't know. And I have to say this a lot. Like, if I am going to date a woman, that's what I'm going to do. Like, if I see the beauty in her heart and I like that, that's what I'm going to do. If I see a guy who keeps my attention long enough, who not playing games, 
that will be the case too. Like I will date him and no, I'm not bisexual where I just jump from here and jump from there. I'm having sex with this person. And like I told y'all in all my videos, I'm a very monogamous person. I cherish my body. I know my worth. So it's not like I'm about to just give it up and give it to anybody. Like just how I make guys work for shit. I make women work for shit. Like you're going to know that I'm not playing games with you. So it is a lot of people don't understand that pansexual is real like or pansexual is like a real word or something like you don't have to pick and choose what gender you fall in love with. Like it's a person's heart. Like I am I'm I am solely Christian. I do believe in the Bible and no, I don't pick the Bible apart and say, you know, this is this and this is this and he's going to turn you around because of this. Because at the end of the day, we're all human. We're all, we're all sinning um, in some sort. That's why that's going to be my talk with him when it's time for me to go. So I just feel like God made people to be people anyway. And love is love and love is love always win. So if you choose to date a woman, then okay that's your preference like if you fall in love with her heart and that's what you see that's your preference like excuse me the sky is freaking falling but yeah i just think that it it took a while for me to like open up and tell my family who i was because and in my baby father too because he found out that i was i told him the first time but times after that like i had to he had, he found out basically from like my phone, like my personal phone or something. He found out and it was nothing that I was embarrassed about. I mean, at first, like, of course I didn't want anybody to know, but I later told my, my brother probably was like the first one. Cause he actually seen me interact with someone else who actually was coming over and things like that. Um, I maybe told my sister like a few months later and definitely my family wasn't like up to it or anything but i just feel like you know if this is you and you're comfortable with who you are feel free to just let go and just feel feel out everything you know you don't want to just throw it on your family which also happened to me because i was just like oh let me just kill bird two birds with one stone like boom mom here i am and my mom was like so are you really gay like is this for real? And I'm like, mom, it's not that I'm gay. It's just like I fall in love with people's heart. And she's like, you're confused. You don't know what you're talking about. You have a baby. And I'm like, I'm too grown to be fucking confused. Okay. I know what I am. I know who I am. I know what I like. I know what I enjoy. And right now it's a woman and she's beautiful. I love a woman's body. Like, it's not that I'm like sickly obsessed, but like, I think a woman is a beautiful thing. And it's so crazy because I think about when I was younger and I was like, bitch, was you hunching? And you know, damn too, you was hunching. But that is so funny because now that you're grown and you be like, was I gay back then? Or was I just doing shit because my friends wanted to? But surprisingly, like I started doing shit as an adult that I didn't do as a, um, as like a child just experiment and, and not to say adult, but I was definitely like high school trying to um, figure it. And I guess you could say that's when you kind of figure a lot of things out when you, um, when you're in high school and that one time with my friend who's still my friend today, it's just like, bitch. And then when I got another best friend in college who I met in college and I found out that we were the fucking same, I'm like, Bitch, you ain't even tell me. Like, it was so funny. So, yes, like, I just, I, I, I am who I am. It's not that if I'm not dating who I'm dating now, she's perfect. I have no reason to leave. Um, I think that I could give a guy a chance. I'm not, it's, it's plenty of guys that always try to talk to me. But if they can keep my attention long enough, then I am open. Or if they don't play games, but... Just like I treat guys in the situation, I treat women like that. Like, you're not about to meet my child off back. Like, I remember when my girlfriend today was, would come over and Grace would wake up. Like, she would hide behind the wall or something. Be like, okay, babe, I'm about to go. Grace is up. Like, it was, it's the same exact thing. It's nothing has changed. It's just been the same. And I just wanted to let everybody know, like, this is me. 
this is what you gonna get. Either I'm with a woman or I will be with a guy. I'm not bisexual because I'm not dipping and dabbing. And you should be open and accept who you are and tell your family who you are and this is what you want to do. You don't have to be afraid. I know it's frightening. And frightening. Wait, I keep saying it wrong. I know it's scary, but you just have to be willing to take the sacrifice for your sake and your mate's sake because your mate don't want to feel like they are a secret as well to your family. And me and my girlfriend have conversations about that now. Like, you know, only the important people matter. Like, both of our moms and my siblings. Like, only those people matter to me to tell. So, my dad came to me and told me and was like, oh, baby girl, I know you're gay. Like, I know what it was. And I'm like, and I got mad because I'm like, how you gonna tell me? Like, just because I have a friend, you can't tell me that I am. But it was just cool because he, he was so accepted to it saying, well, you know, if this is what you're gonna do, I'm still gonna love you. And surprisingly, after all of that, that my mom, my mom was really like, like, didn't, Slick didn't want to talk to me, but we talk every day. So it's just like, how could you not pick up the phone and talk to me? So being that the both of them are on one accord, I know they haven't had the conversation with one another. But being that I can bring my girlfriend around and my parents be like, oh, hey, what's going on? How you been? It's so much better because like I never, like I said before, I didn't bring a lot of people around in the beginning anyway like only my family knew grace's dad so this is pretty different from every for everybody and for myself but like i said you have to be open and willing to take the chance and just be you see you guys later